I saw this movie in theaters. There was never a good moment to munch popcorn. The movie opens up 89 days after some deadly creatures from another planet have conquered Earth and decimated most of the human population. These creatures cannot see, but possess extremely good hearing skills and have an impenetrable protective armor. Among the few remaining survivors, we are introduced to a family who cautiously navigates through a deserted store, searching for essential supplies. The mother, Evelyn Abbott, carefully examines a collection of untouched prescription bottles in hopes of finding medication for her eldest son, Marcus, who is currently sick. The family takes extreme care to minimize noise and communicates solely through sign language. Accompanying Evelyn is her deaf daughter, Regan, and her youngest son, Bo. The little boy is a bit mischievous by nature and loves to draw stuff on the floor. While gathering provisions, Bo discovers a toy space shuttle on a shelf and attempts to reach it by climbing a stool. To everyone's dismay, the toy slips from the shelf, but Regan swiftly catches it before it hits the ground. Meanwhile, the father, Lee Abbott, arrives at the store and gathers some electronic items that can enhance the range of a radio he's acquired. However, he makes little Bo leave the space shuttle toy behind due to the noise it would make if powered on. Shortly after, Evelyn signals the family to move, or else it will get dark soon. As they prepare to leave, Regan secretly gives the toy back to Bo, but without the batteries. Regardless, Bo retrieves the batteries without anyone noticing. Following this, the family silently makes their way home, carefully treading on a path of sand they have laid down to avoid stepping on crunchy leaves. Upon reaching a pedestrian bridge, Bo inserts the batteries batteries into the toy, inadvertently activating it and generating loud noises. The family is horrified by this. Lee frantically rushes towards his son, but it is too late as a menacing alien creature appears in a flash and snatches the little boy away. Little Bo is killed right in front of his family. For one fleeting second though, that space shuttle toy was pretty sweet. The movie then cuts to a year later, and we see the Abbott family in their farmhouse. They seem to have moved on from the tragic incident. Evelyn is now several months pregnant and is doing her best to keep her family safe. In the basement, Lee has assembled a surveillance system comprising cameras, monitors, a radio, and various electronic equipment, all in hopes of establishing contact with any remaining survivors. Lee is clearly a highly intelligent man, though not intelligent enough to wear a condom. One evening, as the family's playing a game of Monopoly, Marcus accidentally knocks over a lamp lantern, causing it to break and ignite a small fire. Lee acts swiftly, extinguishing the flames, and the family anxiously waits for the danger to arrive. Moments later, they hear a loud noise coming from the roof. Lee peers out the window and is startled but relieved to discover that it was only a raccoon falling from above. Following this, he descends into the basement to continue working on a cochlear implant processor designed to aid his daughter's hearing. Later on, Evelyn joins him in the basement, where they share a romantic moment. They wear earphones and engage in a slow dance, completely forgetting the chaos that has turned their world upside down. The next morning, Lee is seen pouring sand onto the marked pathways outside their home, ensuring their footsteps remain noiseless. Meanwhile, Evelyn tends to her health in the cellar, checking her blood pressure as her due date for labor approaches in a couple of weeks. She places a stethoscope to her abdomen, revealing a strong, healthy heartbeat of her unborn child. Afterwards, Regan enters the house, cautiously stepping only on the designated sections of the floor that do not creak, expressing her desire to go down into the basement. However, her father intervenes, preventing her from doing so. He then presents her with a new cochlear implant processor, equipped with additional amplifiers. Regan believes that they are ineffective, so she refuses to wear them. But when her dad insists that she give them a try, she puts it in her pocket and leaves. Later that day, Lee decides to go fishing, so he invites Marcus to accompany him. The little boy is scared and hesitates to join. However, Evelyn convinces him by explaining that his father's intention is to teach him important skills for the future. If you don't know how to fish, son, how will you ever be bored? Regan also expresses her desire to join them, but Lee instructs her to stay behind and care for her mother. This decision upsets the little girl, so she packs her bag and later leaves the farmhouse. In the next scene, the father-son duo arrives at the river, where Lee explains something important. He says that producing soft sounds is acceptable, as long as louder sounds are present in the surroundings. They then go near a waterfall where they can converse freely without fear of being overheard. They can also finally get out their, all their farts. Marcus even screams at the top of his lungs, something which he hasn't done all his life. On the other hand, Regan makes her way to the same bridge where her brother was killed a year ago. She brings out the space shuttle toy and carefully cuts a wire, allowing the toy to light up without emitting any sound. She then leaves it there, hoping her deceased brother can play with it in heaven. Elsewhere, as Lee and Marcus are heading home, they are startled by an old man who suddenly comes out of the woods. When Lee attempts to get near him, he 
notices an old woman's corpse, possibly the man's wife. Lee tries to signal the man to keep quiet, but unfortunately, the latter becomes scared and lets out a loud scream. How is this idiot alive? Filled with horror, Lee grabs his son and swiftly hides behind a tree. The next second, a deadly alien creature attacks the old man and kills him instantly. In the meantime, Evelyn is alone at home when her water breaks. She tries to compose herself and makes her way down to the basement. During this, she accidentally steps on an exposed nail protruding from the stairs, causing her to yelp in pain and drop a photo frame, shattering it on the floor. She is truly home alone. The loud noise alerts the alien creatures to her presence. She somehow manages to free her foot from the nail and proceeds to the basement to activate the network of red light bulbs positioned throughout their property, serving as a warning signal. Following this, Evelyn tries to head upstairs, only to realize that one of the creatures has already infiltrated the house. Soon enough, it enters the basement, where she is hiding in fear. With time running out, Evelyn sets an egg timer as a distraction. The plan works, and once the creature's attention is diverted, she flees upstairs. She successfully reaches the bathroom, where she begins the process of giving birth. After a while, Lee and Marcus return home and discover the illuminated red lights. Realizing that his wife is in danger, Lee hands Marcus a firecracker and instructs him to ignite it hoping to scare the creatures away. Despite the risks involved, Marcus runs to a designated area, lights the fuse, and sets off a series of fireworks as a diversionary tactic. This finally enables Evelyn to release a scream, unable to suppress the pain of her contractions any longer. Shortly after, Lee grabs his shotgun and enters the house. He enters the bathroom, only to find an empty bathtub stained with his wife's blood, devastated. He initially believes that Evelyn has died. However, his anguish soon turns to relief when he discovers her safe in the shower holding their newborn baby boy. Overwhelmed with emotion, Lee then tightly embraces his wife. Meanwhile, Marcus, who is making his way back towards the house, spots a creature. In a desperate attempt to escape, he runs into a cornfield, but accidentally collides with a tractor wheel, rendering himself unconscious. Regan, who has been resting near the memorial, witnesses the fireworks display and rushes back towards home. Along her path, she notices Marcus's flashlight beam coming from the cornfield, but remains unaware of the approaching creature behind her. However, as the creature draws nearer, Regan's cochlear implant processor begins emitting a high-pitched feedback. This causes immense pain to the creature, forcing it to retreat. Just then, Regan locates her frightened brother and embraces him tightly. The two then head to the top of a grain silo and ignite a signal fire, hoping to alert distant farms of their presence. On the other hand, Lee carries his wife and their newborn baby to a concealed hiding place beneath the floor in the barn. There, he carefully places an oxygen mask on the baby and secures him in a soundproof crib. Intense. After this, Lee sets off to search for their missing kids, while water steadily flows into the cellar. Later, Evelyn awakens to discover that the cellar has become flooded, and on top of this, there's a creature that has descended into the room. Acting cautiously, she picks up her baby and stealthily moves to the back of the cellar, taking cover behind the waterfall, flooding the room. Elsewhere, Marcus and Regan are still on top of the silo, anxiously awaiting their father's arrival. Suddenly, a hatch in the silo breaks, causing Marcus to plummet inside and nearly be crushed by a metal door. Witnessing her brother's peril, Regan courageously jumps, quickly pushing the hatch towards Marcus so he can grab hold of it. However, Regan herself begins sinking into the grain in the process. Just when it appears that she is going to meet a gruesome death. Marcus somehow climbs onto the hatch and pulls out his sister to safety. Following this, the siblings find a secure perch atop the silo door, but just then, they hear a crash above them. It turns out to be the same creature from the cellar that has made its way to the silo, lured by the sound. But once again, Regan's cochlear implant emits a piercing noise, causing the creature to recoil in agony before fleeing. After this, Regan and Marcus jump out of the silo and finally reunite with Lee. However, their relief is short-lived as they hear the approaching creature's ominous noise. Lee instructs the children to quickly get into his truck and use it to return home. He then arms himself with an axe to confront the creature. Unfortunately, he is attacked, prompting Marcus to scream in horror. Attracted by the sound, the creature diverts its attention to the truck and violently starts ripping at it. Once again, Regan's cochlear implant emits its piercing feedback, but unaware of its importance, she decides to turn it off. This allows the creature to strike the truck with full force. Meanwhile, an injured Lee gets up and notices that his children are in danger, realizing that they're going to die if he doesn't act soon. Lee chooses to do something drastic. He looks at his daughter and communicates his love through sign language one last time. Then he lets out a loud yell. <laughs>
a decidedly goofy yell, diverting the creatures and allowing his kids to escape. Regan and Marcus immediately release the truck's brakes and roll it back to the house, where they are finally reunited with their mother. As for Lee, he is shredded to pieces. Dwight took this prank too far. In the next scene, Evelyn and the children still hear a nearby creature shriek, so they retreat to the basement. There, Regan discovers her late father's research on cochlear implants, indicating that he spent a lot of time and effort to help her. This overwhelms her with emotion just as the lights begin to flicker. Not long after, a creature shows up in the basement. Armed with a shotgun, Evelyn stands ready while Regan examines her father's handwritten notes, stumbling upon one that reads, What? is their weakness. With this, it finally dawns on her that her hearing aid possesses the power to weaken the creature. As a result, she takes off her cochlear implant and slams it against a microphone, causing the creature's head to contort in agony before collapsing. As the wounded creature struggles to regain its footing, the amplified sound reveals its vulnerable inner tissue, exposing its head. Seizing the opportunity, Evelyn shoots the creature, blowing its head off. With Marcus and the baby seeking refuge in a corner, Regan and Evelyn monitor the security camera screen witnessing more creatures approaching the house. Now that they are empowered by their newfound knowledge of how to fight back, Regan amplifies the sound and raises the microphone, while Evelyn, with a smile on her face, cocks the shotgun. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.